Hello everyone, this is a Happy Anime Cafe Manager here with another... I was about to say walk through it, so, so anyway. I'm here, here to talk, talk about... To do so, a short comment to Terry's on... On my PlayStation 2 collection, uh, to date uh, of 2012. So anyway, what I have to show off right off the bat... Since I did organize my games in alphabetical order is... DDR Extreme, DDR Extreme 2, and DDR and Dance Dance Revolution Super Mel. I decided to get all three of the Dance Dance Revolution games out of the way though because it, it's all the same, it's the same uh, yeah, game, but uh, with the different uh, rules for, uh, for some uh, other objectives. And the, each game, game has their own variety of tracks. I do enjoy, enjoy playing the Dance Dance Revolution, but not very many opportunities. Since I did well learn that, I mean, since I've forgotten that, I do have neighbors that are very close by buying wall link. So, it's not, not going to be e easy play, playing the game, game uh, as aggressive as I want. By aggressive, I mean the uh, using the dance pad. There's an ad going on. So anyway, now next up on my list is Final Fantasy says twelve. It, 12 is the by far one of my more, most uh, favorite the stories in the Final Fantasy uh, universe. I've never been able to be, beat it uh, though. It's been qu quite a long time since I uh, last uh, played it, but I do, do like the storyline, the, uh, the yeah, game play, play for RPG standards. Uh, quite uh, fun and so uh, something I could really, really get into, but maybe someday I'll do a walk walkthrough for the game. Next up is uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, San Andreas. It's a, uh, one of my fa favorite uh, games to uh, play when when it came out. It's fun uh, shooting uh, stuff, shooting people in the game anyway. Don't. So, um. It's the Grand Theft Auto. Uh, all, all the th things you couldn't uh, do in real life, you could do in that uh, game. Be a uh, pimp, steal cars. Eat, eat a lot. <laughs> also, learn new uh, flying uh, stars. I mean. Uh, all the the San GTA San Andreas Hot has a ton of the things I, I would uh, like to have in the video yeah, game. So, so San Andreas happens to be one of my fa favorite GTA games in the series. I mean, I, I like Vice City also in three. Next up is the only yeah, Gundam game in my collection is Journey to Jaburo. This game was my childhood. Well, in my late childhood anyway. Wait. The PlayStation 2 was not new and I managed to see, see this uh, game in the local video uh, store and I just felt like running it. And that's uh, so much uh, fun playing as the uh, Gundam uh, blasting all kinds of mobile suits. Yeah, uh, giant robots beating the shit out of each other. Next up I have here is a um, uh, movie bed. It's a game that's been movie licensed. It's called Harry Potter, Potter Quidditch World Cup. Well in the, this uh, game, it all you do is play, play quick Quidditch. Well for a simple concept that the, this game is actually pretty good. I had that. Uh, 
had hours of uh, fun play playing uh, through the uh, game, through the tutorials, and then through the main game. The next up is one one of them uh, is uh, is an action game called Jet Li Rise to Honor. Jet Li uh, stars as the main character Kit Ye Yoon. Well, it's a it has an, a kind of an interesting storyline line that would man, make for a movie idea that could have been made into a movie, but instead. They just decided to, to make it into a game, and it's one, one of the hardest action games I've uh, played. All because cause, uh, to uh, fight, you use the right analog stick. But it, uh, it does have a, a variety of, uh, of action sequences you could uh, do, such as uh, sneaking around enemies, uh, full, full out fighting, and uh, gunfights. All you could ask for in an action movie. Okay, almost lost my head there. Now, next up is yes, the second Inuyasha game in my collection. Inuyasha, the, the secret of the person mask. Yeah, I pretty. Forgot the full uh, subtitle. Haven't gone very far, far in the uh, game. So, uh, what I uh, think of it uh, so far, far the gameplay is a little sus. For, for our RPG standards, it's a little, little sus. It's slightly slow paced. And I just uh, think the story drives on a little more than it sh should. But uh, it's just the beginning of the ge game for, uh, for me. And the character died. And the ge game's own uh, fictional ca character that I play played with is the uh, boy, so I'm not sure how, how the uh, female turret turns out, but I'll get, get to it eventually. All I could say is, uh, I am a fan of the Inuyasha series. So, uh, for, for a fan, fan fiction, I'm excited in the uh, game. I'm uh, expecting that to, it would be a, be a uh, nice expansion in, in this year series. The next up is a uh, yeah, game that I've uh, worshipped for, for years now, and now is Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is one of the coolest action RPG games I've uh, played. Well, on the PlayStation 2 anyway. Way. It is not nice that that the uh, game uh, has a high hybrid of uh, Disney and Final Fantasy ca characters to encounter. The game gameplay is it's uh, silver uh, rating. It, it's uh, fun at uh, it's fun for uh, fighting enemies. The uh, puzzles are uh, okay. It isn't uh, I did have tr trouble on the uh, puzzles, but I eventually uh, got got through through them. But uh, sadly, in in the original Kingdom Hearts, it's the only uh, game that incorporates all those kinds of puzzles. So anyway, I do have a couple more. I do have. A long list of games to go through and to do short commentaries for. So, thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya.